Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade Autograph Big Box Series 2. It's a two box break and it's a random letter break. And this time, we're going by first name, first letter. First letter of their first name. Now, Nick used this Robert De Niro as an example, but I don't actually know if there's celebrities in this. I think this may just be multi-sport, but who knows? We might be surprised. Um, but if we pull a Robert De Niro, it'll go to R. If we pull a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, it'll go to K, so on and so forth. And a bunch of combo letters down there as well. A very big thanks to this group of people for getting in on the action. I appreciate it. And there are the letters right there. And now let's roll it and randomize it. Six and a four, ten times for names and letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I said six and a four, right? Yeah, tenth and final time once more. After ten, we got Brian down to Chris. Six and a four, ten times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Good luck. After ten, we've got L down to T. All right, Brian Croft with L, Adam with P, Josh with C, Roger with A, Drew with K, Travis with G, Jonathan with H, Chris with N, B, D, no big deal, Ben with the combo letters, Peter Eng with E, Adam with J, Carly with S, Jonathan with R, Chris with M, Mike with F, Joseph with, <laughs> Joseph, Joe P with W, and Chris with the letter T. Let's sort these by column B. And once again, first letter of their first name. We want to we make that clear. Now we've got both cases right here. We've got box 50 out of 50. We have box 47 out of 50. I just kind of randomly grabbed these from the back. And we do have more. Another two box break is in the store right now. Now I'm going to pause the video. We're going to see if there's any trades. When we come back, we'll have the break itself. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. So a little bit of trade chatter, a little bit of people uh, nervous about their letters, but hopefully we've alleviated a bit of their nervousness. So that list right there remains the same. Two boxes, five items in each box. Let's do it. So there's three items right here. One, two, and three. Four, four and five right here. box. All right, good luck everybody. Don't be nervous, Joe P. Don't be nervous. Now, the previous case did not put their names on here, but I can see it on the jersey right here. All right.
All right, who am I? I'm an active wide receiver in the NFL, 6'1", 200 pounds, played for one team my entire career, was a, uh, a college football national champion, a Bolitnikoff Award winner, a unanimous All-American, and first team All-SEC. Drafted in the first round with the fifth overall pick, wide receiver, fifth overall pick this year. Who am I? That should, be, that should make it pretty easy. Drafted this year, Chris Maxwell. Fifth overall this year. Has not, I haven't even played a single NFL snap yet, but I'm supposed to be pretty good. This year, Joe P. There you go, Jim Murray. It's Jamar Chase. Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited with Joe Burrow. There's the LSU colors right there. There's his autograph, Jay Chase. You got the JSA sticker and card. It's a custom jersey, so I'm going to leave it in, nicely folded inside the bag. And J, Jamar Chase, I think is Adam Kupferman. It is. Adam with the letter J. Back in that box right there. All right, next one. What's in here? Oh, we've got, oh, this is cool. We've got a hat. A Red Sox hat. All right, so think about think about your Red Sox players. Did he really play for them? All right. So, judging from my reaction, a, uh, a player that I was surprised that he was on this team. But yeah, he was. This was the third team that I played for in my, in my career. So, my lifetime MLB stats, 200, 266 batting average, 462 home runs, and a little over 1,400 runs batted in. Played for one, two, three four, five, six, seven different teams in my entire career. This was my third team. And I played with them for a couple seasons before going back to my original team for a season. I'm a six-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, AL MVP, an AL Rookie of the Year, a four-time Silver Slugger, a two-time Home Run Leader, and an MLB RBI Leader. Yeah, TJ, got it. TJ and Adam. I did not realize that Jose Canseco had a little stint in Boston. There's his autograph right there. I think that six-time All-Star, right? And it's a nice, it's a nice cap too. There you go, you got the Dave and Adams card inside there. Cap size is seven and three eighths. Good looking hat. Yeah, you spent a couple of years there. Yeah, you don't see Conseco Conseco Red Sox edition too often. Yeah, he went from the A's for a little while, Rangers for a couple seasons, and then for a few seasons, I think, and then uh, and the Red Sox. All right, and that's another J for Adam. All right, and this feels like a helmet. They do have a name on this one. Okay. Football. And don't let the color of this bag fool you into thinking that you know what the team is going to be, because it's not. 
who am I? I'm an active wide receiver in the NFL. I have a career 492 receptions, 6,158 receiving yards, and 38 receiving touchdowns since since 2015. So how many years is that? 2020, <laughs> it's five, right? So 38 divided by 38 divided by five. About averaging about eight touchdowns a season. Last year I had eight touchdowns. Last year I had 127 receptions, 1,535 receiving yards, and eight touchdowns. It's pretty good. Who am I? Played for two teams my entire career. First team All-Pro last year, Pro Bowler last year, NFL receptions leader last year, NFL receiving yards leader last year. Yes, sir. Stefan Diggs, Adam Kupperman's got it. So that goes to Carly and the letter S. So let's take a look. This, uh, this, the color right here is a little misleading, those Dolphins colors. Let's see what edition of Diggs this is going to be. So it's, I know it's upside down, but it says Stefan Diggs right there. And it's Vikings edition of Stefan Diggs. That's a cool helmet. So you can see the, the high gloss right here on the helmet. A little metallic sheen underneath the, uh, the horns here. There's Stefan Diggs autograph. That's pretty cool. You've got a, the Rydell tag right here. That's a sharp looking helmet. Yeah, these chrome helmets, right, Joe P? Look really cool. All right. Stefan Diggs once again for Carly. We got a couple more out of here and then one more box. jersey in here. Who's, who are you going to be? Oh, an NHL Reebok jersey. So think, start thinking uh, start thinking hockey. All right. Um, I'm a Hall of Famer. Got into the Hall of Fame in 2014. Uh, Swedish-born player, six foot, 205 pounds, a center, and a lefty. Swedish lefty center, drafted uh, by the Flyers, sixth overall in the early 90s. But this this jersey is a Colorado jersey. There you go, Oliver's got it. Peter Forsberg. Yeah, Adam and uh, Jim, Chris. There you see Peter Forsberg right there. And it's a Reebok jersey, so I think it's worth taking a, taking a look. So there's his autograph, his 21 inscription right there, the Reebok retail tags. It's a pretty cool jersey. 
You got the big, the big Reebok logo on the back. The Colorado C right here. The huge Avs logo on these hockey jerseys are pretty awesome. No like fight strap or anything like that underneath, which is what I've learned to look for over the years. There's the big NHL shield on the front. Nice. I'm gonna fold this up nicely a little bit later. So the Peter Forsberg goes to, we're doing first letters. Goes to Adam Kupperman with letter P. All right, and the fifth and final item out of here is the photo. I think at the end caps, one of these would have their names on there. Not on this end, on the bottom end? All right, on the bottom. Got it. Not gonna give it away? Okay, so there's the Fanatics hologram verification. Now we're going by the first name on the on the tag right here, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty cool. Alright. Who am I? I'm a retired basketball player. 6'7", 215 pound. Uh, what, what position did I play? Point guard, shooting guard. I feel like all this information is gonna give it away pretty, pretty quickly. Let's give it some basic information first. Four time NBA All-Star, two time All-NBA First Team, All-NBA Rookie First Team. 10,684 points in my career, 3,146 rebounds, 3,525 assists in my career, and a gold medalist. Played for one, two, three, four teams in my entire career. Uh, this, uh, this, this stuff's gonna start to give it away now. Uh, I went to high school in Memphis. Now, oh, PJ, are you looking this up? I barely gave any information out. Went to Memphis. Went to the uh, went third overall in the 1993 NBA draft, and now am I coaching? At, and I'm coaching at Memphis now. I'm a Memphis guy, born in Memphis, went to college in Memphis, and it, I'm coaching at Memphis right now. Well, good, that's excellent work, PJ. Penny Hardaway, PJ got it first, and it's. Penny Hardaway, letter P, and that's another P for Adam Kupperman. Oh, okay, okay. That makes more sense now. Yeah, shooting guards at that at that height weight. All right, all right. There you go. There you go. PJ knows his stuff. There's the photo here. Let's see if I can show you the photo and the autograph without messing this up too much. So there's the autograph right here. There's this photo right there. Oliver saw Penny Hardaway in high school, thought he was overrated. I'm a dumb Oliver says, yeah, he ended up being pretty good. All right, listen, there's more. We got one more box. 
So if you didn't hit in this case, let's cross our fingers in the next case. items here. Another one, two, three items right here. Good luck. We got another jersey. Have a name on here? We've got a custom jersey in here. All right. All right, who am I? I was uh, voted into the Hall of Fame in 2019 with 75% of the Today's Game Committee vote. So he's a Hall of Famer. Six-time All-Star, World Series champion, Silver Slugger Award, my number retired by, by one team, the team that I originally started on, and also part of another team's Hall of Fame, the fourth team that I played on. I played for one, two, three, four, five, five teams my entire career. One team three different times. Actually, two teams three different times. And I was a, a coach of the team that drafted me for a little bit. Was a designated hitter, right fielder, lefty. Lifetime 289 average, 2,866 hits, 384 home runs, uh, 1,628 runs batted in. And this, this jersey is the, is the team that, uh, that I was drafted by. There you go, Oliver. Oliver with Harold Baines. It is Harold Baines. Played for the White Sox, then went to the Rangers, Oakland, then Baltimore. Then went back to the White Sox, then back to the Baltimore Orioles. See you, Jesse. Then to the Indians, then back to the Orioles for a season, and then ended with the uh, White Sox for a couple of years. And then coached, well, was part of the coaching staff for the White Sox between 2004 and 2015. So there's his number three, retired by the White Sox. He's part of the Orioles Hall of Fame, too. There's his autograph right there. And there's the authentication sticker right there as well. Yeah, custom White Sox jersey. Not not an officially licensed one, but still nice. So Harold Baines. 
goes to Jonathan with the letter H. Jonathan was a little concerned about letter H, ends up with a hit. All right, next is another jersey, but this looks officially licensed. Different, it went to a Jonathan L. PJ, not, not Jonathan A, not Hollywood. All right. Who am I? I was the 15th overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft. And in college, was a part, third team all at ACC, an ACC all freshman team and a McDonald's All-American Game MVP back in 2019. Went to high school in Briarwood, New York, but then went to Mouth of Wilson, Virginia. Went to Oak Hill Academy, and then went to North Carolina. And then I was drafted by this team 15th overall in the 2020 NBA draft. I feel like he had a kind of a slow start to his professional career. You know, ended up playing 47 games, starting 34, 12.9 points per game, a handful of rebounds per game, four assists per game. But I feel like he certainly has some upside. I feel like he just kind of had a, had, a, had a rough start to his career. But I feel like he can, I feel like he has a pretty decent ceiling. But he, oh, well, look, he finished strong, though. I concluded my rookie campaign with four 20-plus point games, 19 double-digit scoring games in Orlando's Orlando, his last 22 contests, and two game-winning three-point buzzer beaters. Who am I? The team should give it away. There you go, Eric Jennings and Oliver. Yeah, Cole Anthony. There's his autograph. There's the Fanatics card in there and the Fanatics authentication sticker. There's his number 50. This looks like an official jersey, right? It's got to be. Yeah, it's his Nike jersey. It's got letter C. That's going to be Josh Melton with the letter C. So you got all the all the retail tags on here, which is always cool. There's the size tag on the bottom right there. There's Orlando on front, Nike swoosh, all the dry fit stuff on the back. Uh, James, you don't like this game? Sorry. When you start your own breaking channel, you can do this however you want to. All right, Cole Anthony, Jersey. All right, next thing. Yeah, some people just don't get it, guys. Ooh, a soccer ball. What do we have here? Icons.com. I got the name of the uh, the person right here. All right, so this is a letter we have not seen yet. All right, who am I? I think I have, I think I have some uh, some records here. So I played for you. Got to put put on your uh, soccer hats. Uh, Southampton and Blackburn Rovers and Newcastle United. He's uh, 
made 63, has 63 caps, as they call it, for England. Soccer ball, not a softball, soccer ball. I'm pretty sure I've got, I, I hold a number of, uh, hold a number of records here, which I'm struggling to find, but I have, uh, Score, scored a boatload of goals. <laughs> Do I have some? I mean, won a number of golden boots. There's records. Most goals. Oh, Eric Jennings got it. Mo, there, the record section of Wikipedia. Most goals in Premier League history, 260 goals. Most Premier League goals in a 42-game season, 34. Most Premier League penalties scored, 56. Most Premier League goals scored from inside the box, 227. Most goals... In a single match, five. Most Premier League goals in a single, single match with five. And then fewest matches to score 100 Premier League goals, 124. I'm trying to make sure I don't touch the autograph wherever it is. There it is. Yep, it's Alan Shearer. It's a pretty good looking autograph. That's awesome. There's the sticker right here as well, the authentication sticker. There's his autograph once again. I think that's a sell sheet hit too. There you go. There's all the authentication and everything as well. Letter A for Alan. That's uh, for Roger. Yeah, great penmanship on that as well. Alan Shearer, one of the one of the greats. All right, let's do the other pouch and then we'll do the photo. Ah, we got the name right here. All right, this is also a letter that has not been called yet all right yeah it's wrapped up in some brown paper right here who am I I share the name with a character in the best-selling Gossip Girl book series and I'm portrayed by Chase Crawford in the television series of the same name. In the novels, I'm considered the primary male character, always being fought over by the two most prominent females, Blair Waldorf and Serena Vander Woodson. Who am I? We're gonna see. We're gonna see who watches Gossip Girl. <laughs> Oliver's like, what? No one watches Gossip Girl or reads Gossip Girl. This is not the right audience for that. Um, I, <laughs> the actual athlete here is 6'1", 150 pounds. That's where I'm listed. Went to DeWitt Clinton High School in the Bronx. And then went to college at Arizona Western for a little bit. And then UTEP. And was drafted in 1970 in the second round which was 19th overall by the Cincinnati Royals. Was a point guard, played for the Cincinnati Royals slash Kansas City Omaha Kings slash Kansas City Kings, then with the New York Nets, then with the Buffalo Braves, then with the Boston Celtics, then with the Milwaukee Bucks. I was an NBA champion, six-time NBA All-Star, an All-Star Game MVP, Retired, a uh, number retired by this team, part of the NBA's 50th anniversary all-time team. Yeah, there you go, PJ, and I think Oliver's got it, Nate Archibald, or Tiny Archibald. Was he called Tiny Archibald? Yeah, Nathaniel Tiny Archibald. Not to be confused with the Nate Archibald on Gossip Girl, which is what, which is what Wikipedia wanted me, to, where Wikipedia wanted me to go. And what do we have here? This is not a full-size basketball.
Ah, this is highlighting Nate Archibald's Celtics days. That's pretty cool. Oh, got, get, get out of the way, paper. No one wants to see you. There you go, Nate Archibald. Great penmanship. Hey, he, he put Tiny right there as well. HOF. Celtics logo. He got some career highlights up in this. Kind of hard to see. It's sort of a refle reflective kind of cover there. And then the actual piece of the basketball right there. There's the Fanatics logo. <laughs> no, the world may never know, Adam. I did not recite that from memory. Nice. So that's a letter N is a letter that has not been called. Nate Archibald going to Chris Maxwell. Chris happy that it's Celtics Nate Archibald and not Gossip Girls Nate Ar Ar Archibald, which would be, which I think would raise a lot of question marks for Hit Parade. And they also gave me a little sticker right here as well. All right. That's true, Eric. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. So we, we got the letter right here. Now, sorry, everyone, but this is a letter that has been called. But the person who has this letter will be happy. Last round of Who Am I? All right, Who Am I? 25-year-old active running back in the National Football League. Third round pick, 67th overall, has played for one team my entire career. I was an NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, two-time second-team All-Pro, four-time Pro Bowler, PFWA All-Rookie team when I was a rookie. I have the NFL records, most rushing touchdowns in a single game. Six, tied with Ernie Nevers. First running back in NFL history to have at least 500 rushing yards and 500 receiving yards in each of my first four seasons. I'm pretty good. Fantasy monster. Now, Zeke wishes he had this guy's number. Now, Frank Gore didn't really do a lot of pass catching, I want to feel like, in his first part of his career. There you go. Ray's got it. Adam's got it. Yeah, now, nothing but cardboard's finally got it as well. It is Alvin Kamara. Lights, Kamara, action. Ooh, that's a nice photo of him right here, too. There's his ink right there on his monstrous thigh. You got the Beckett authentication sticker right there as well. Yeah, probably probably won some of you your your, uh, your championships in fantasy, and that goes to Roger again with the letter A. There you go, Roger, and there you go, everybody. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We have another two box break in the store, and let's try to chase some more fun uh, bits of live memorabilia. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.